our last topic of the day, uh, women in gaming and how far we've come and how much further we need to go. Right. So I know this is like a more general topic, um, but it's a, it's a relevant topic. Uh, it's something I honestly like to talk about a lot. Um, Forbes came out with a article recently just kind of talking a little bit about the information um, that we have when it comes to the like how gaming the games industry is doing right now. Mm-hmm. So actually like during the pandemic, obviously the games industry like shot up a lot um, to the point that I think the gaming industry is really like carving um, our, our pop culture a lot now. Mm-hmm. So, you know, because of that, um, there's like a real question as like, cause before people would always say like, Oh, you're a girl in games and, and you don't like you don't like to get flamed or you don't like the toxicity. Well, just deal with it because everyone's like that, you yeah. know. But but now it's kind of and I, I honestly hate that argument to begin with because we should be saying something about it and it, it shouldn't just be like we should just you know swallow it and just like you know 100%. go to the next game. Um, but I think now it's even more prevalent because the games industry is getting so popular so fast that if yeah. we keep up those uh, stereotypes that actually is gonna, it actually will have a bigger impact than you think it will. Cause it's not just that like, oh, only gamers are sexist anymore. Cause now we are kind of teaching like the next generations of kids, you know, to be, to be that way. Or the people who do like kind of think that, but they don't say anything about it, but then they'll see it. So then they'll, so then they will start doing it. Like I've had right. so many instances where like I'm playing league and I used to have my in-game name was Girl That Games. And it was mm-hmm. literally just that, just because I thought it would be like kind of funny content to see what people would say to me. Right. Um, but like almost all the time, I wouldn't say anything in the chat, but yet people would always like make comments for no reason at all. And, uh, and what would happen is like one person would say something obviously like really mean or really dumb. And then everyone jumps on the bandwagon. Yeah. yeah. Starts saying it. Yeah, uh, and I would like say nothing at all. Like I would just be there existing. Like they don't even know if I'm a girl. That's just literally my name. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I and feel the excuse, that the excuse should never just be like, "Oh, it comes with the territory," you know? Because I've seen yeah. clips. I'm sure you've seen them too, Alex. Of yeah. people who play CS:GO or they play Valorant, and they're mm-hmm. and they're hopping on the team chat and the and the toxicity that then comes from that. And like, it should it shouldn't just be like, "Oh, well, that's just the way it is." Like that. Mm-hmm what like that should not be okay you know if there's crime in the world and people are dying every day what are we going to just be like well that's just the world (laughs) well and i guess i'll buy like Like, what like what i feel like um there's no other mm, there's no other okay the most og and most the most toxic og server in gaming has to be call of duty and i've been playing call of duty for forever um, so when I would hook up my mic immediate and like, I'd be like, okay, on your right. Or like try to help my teammates maneuver around a map, um, yeah. immediately just getting shit on, like just horrible things said to me, like, go die. Like even words I didn't even stuff. know I had to look up. I had no idea what they mean, like how negative and bad they were, like yeah. just because I was a girl playing. And that's it. That is yeah. it. It's not even like I could have been AFK and just like coughed and they would hear my cough and then just Cough's like a girl start hating on me. And I it, know, it's, it's so I, stupid. It is so mm-hmm. stupid, and it's in COD. It's been happening for so long, and now yeah. I have to say, with modern warfare, especially with the Black Lives Matter movement, Activision has been taking a step to kind of moderate what. Well, you know, you could report people that's been around forever, um, but people still find a way to say something, and then they just don't. They just get unblocked, you know, from yeah, the yeah, yeah. servers. It's just like a temporary thing. But I have to say, with the more awareness of abuse, especially for women or just everyone in general, mm-hmm. that they've been actually taking the right steps um, to really show zero tolerance for that crap um, in games. And I feel like the reason people always say just it, it's the nature of gaming, like, toxicity is the nature of gaming you know Mm -hmm. just get used to the negative comments that's just how it is because 
you know, it doesn't mean anything is because we often have a nature when it comes to our entertainment to want to separate that from being socially aware or socially just standing up for causes that are important. So when people yeah. cross that over with, you know, whether it is Black Lives Matter or women in this situation, um, they feel like we're making the enter the gaming scene more political than it is. Mm. But when you look at a game, I, and I'm going to talk about COD once again, that is literally based in the stories and themes are politics. Yes. yes. Um, the the it, amount of people that that come to, to, to any game with the argument, oh, this game's getting, this game's getting woke. This yeah. game's getting political. Yeah. It's like, man, you paid zero attention <laughs> to the games that you played when you were younger. Exactly. Yeah. Halo's political. Did, yeah. I feel like did you not? Everything. Did you not play it? <laughs> you can know? even go back and say Mario is political. Why are the Koopas being, you know, even yeah. hated yeah. on by Mario? There, Why is Bowser a dictator? Like dictatorship. Dictatorship. A dictator. <laughs> dictatorship. Um, but like you can go back to say whatever. Yes. There there are elements in politics and um Social, socially aware content in our games already from when we were young because that's embedded in us and who we are based on how we live. And yeah. people are making games. It's not a robot making games. Mm -hmm. So those elements will leak into the game or be oh, the core 100%. concept of a game. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So it's just, it always baffles me when people are like, stop making this political when it is not a political thing. It's just standing up for being treated like a human being and not being treated um, as a, a pile of shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, uh, well of course, the article, yeah. it's like women make up almost half of gamers, like 46%. So why do we still act like there's not that many girls there? So that's why once you, sorry, that's me. <laughs> if you guys mm -hmm. can hear like the airplane. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> um, so why do we still act like, there's not that many girls, and that's why every time we hear one, people need to freak out. Yeah. Yeah. And also, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say when probably like half your well with League, probably like a good portion of your games you probably played with a ton of girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like really normal. So why? No, I think, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Go on. That, that's all, right. all embedded in marketing. I think how games were marketed when we were younger, um, when the industry started to boom, was always directed to boys um it mm -hmm. was always seen like as yeah. a boy thing like kind of how like action figures for kids was usually seen as a boy thing and barbies mm -hmm. were for girls um mm -hmm. and we've moved beyond that now where we're realizing as a society that those things aren't right to just cast people into these uh, categories of what they should and shouldn't be playing with Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, we still see that in non-obvious ways today. So I think like it may not be marketing in terms of always in terms of how companies market their games. However, that is still there. Again, Call of Duty markets their games to men. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But then yeah. when you look at more, I'm going to say media, sometimes how they um, report on stories. So when you hear about Gamer Girl Bathwater. Um, <laughs> You know, like they report those stories. Obviously, that's a really ridiculous example. But for some reason, that makes more news than a guy doing something really crappy. Like, yeah. I, that is my personal opinion. I feel like sometimes how things are reported in gaming media, 100%. when it is a girl doing something, mm -hmm. it's like blown up into a bigger proportion. And I'm not saying I'm for gamer girl bathwater because that is the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> but what I'm saying is instances like those, those types of stories paint such a um, stereotypical picture of like the gamer girl or the girl gamer um, that really does shine girls in gaming uh, or women in gaming in a negative light. Mm -hmm. But then when a guy does something, it's just seem as, oh, bro he's a gamer there's there's definitely like this this feeling of any time if it was like a, a female in gaming who maybe makes a mistake or does something that people don't agree with the mm -hmm. outrage is like 10 times more intense if it were the same situation and it were a dude yeah mm -hmm. you know and it's i don't know i the, like 
I feel like we are making progress. Uh, like we're, we're starting to take steps in the right directions. Uh, at least I don't know that that could be just my personal, the third person perspective that I have. Maybe you guys have seen it differently. And if you have like, please let me know. I don't want to sound yeah. like I'm ill-informed on the situation. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like we're, we're starting to make progress. Um, the, the most important thing is um, if you're one of those people that's in that game chat, if you start to see something or if you're hearing something that you're not liking, like, don't be the guy that jumps on yeah. the bandwagon and, and joins in on the on the negativity. Like be the person, even if they're they're still gonna be idiots and just attack you as well. At least be the person to like want to stand up for somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how we should be, even outside of games, in, in any yeah. in any form, any walk of life. Like you like that's how we should be. Um, and I feel like especially in games, we're starting to see a little bit of progress there. You know, you're mentioning some of the things that's being done in Call of Duty with the with the promotion and like the um the showcasing of like black lives matter and all that stuff like that's that's good and and what they're doing to enforce some of the uh, toxicity that comes from their community is is good it's a step in the right direction mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. we need to i think we need to stop taking steps and we need to start like we need to start lunging in the right yeah. direction you know like we yeah. need to start taking some leaps some in leaps. the yeah. right direction <laughs> Yeah. And, you know? and really what will lead that is um, developers, gaming media, influencers, I think they have to lead those charges um, yeah. to make the right steps and right calls. Like NBA right. 2K um, still doesn't have a woman character you can play as. Yeah. It's, it's, we're going yeah. to NBA 2K22. Um, so what? You know what I yeah, mean? I like, yeah. Um, yeah. so that you got to see those places of representation and when you look at a game like um assassin's creed valhalla um or even odyssey um where they have it you could play as either character and you see that backlash that uh the developers get because you again players feel some players feel like they're making it into a social issue it is important for us to be talking about why it is it is, it is an issue in gaming and why it's okay to talk about it and to support women that in stuff, gaming by having the representation that we need. That stuff is in, is like the most frustrating too when people are like, oh, why are you putting the woman in the Viking? Like, have yeah. you done any research like in your life? <laughs> like, Have you done anything besides watch 300 to learn about <laughs> Viking history? You know? Like, it, that, that was a thing back then. Like, just... You could just Women's Google it. It's, yeah. it. There's this powerful tool available at your fingertips and you use it to spread negativity before you use it to actually increase your IQ points. It's mm -hmm. crazy to me. But it that's is, just insane. That is just the instinct of people mm -hmm. online is they see female in thing and immediately it's this is getting political. Oh my God. Yeah. My, oh my God. I think I'm, my out. Life, I'm out. Is my yeah. life, is my life ending? Is this it? It's like, like no, your life part? isn't. It, your oh my life God. isn't ending. Everything. And, the walls are closing in. <laughs> You'll be okay, in the game. Oh my God. Like, breathe, 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 breathe. breathe. It's breathe. unreal. Breathe. Seriously. Yeah. And and the same thing applies. You know, you got Avengers coming out. Like uh, it's right on the horizon. It's a, a day out from early access. A couple of days until it's like officially launching worldwide. The main protagonist, of the character, the, the main protagonist of the game is Kamala Khan. Uh, she's a Muslim female character, and of course, a, like. That's all I literally needed to say. And you completely, like, I didn't say anything else. And I'm sure you already understand what the immediate reaction was from people online. When, to, when yeah. I say that a Muslim female character is the protagonist, the lead protagonist of an Avengers game, mm -hmm. that's all I need to say for you to be able to understand, oh, well, yeah, everyone's going to be uh, talking about how woke this is or how it's too political. Yeah. It can't yeah. just be that this is a character that exists in comic books and they want to tell that character story. Yeah. It can't it, it cannot just be that. It can't. That's crazy. Yeah. You know? I but, hate but it. I it hate is it. so bad. So but that's why we need more of that representation. So that, then it becomes more normalized. A hundred percent. So it is less of a news story and more of that's just gaming and how it is. Yep. So then when, you know, Alex and I sign on to servers or we, we're talking to people, we don't get hated on just for being like, a female. Be, yeah. Well, I, I, you were going, um, you made a good point, Reese, where you mentioned like media, because I think one of the biggest problems with this is like most executives in these companies, um, if not all, are all men. I mean, you can even look at my yeah. games. Like they are very notorious. I saw that. Yeah. Yes. For like having a very sexist, toxic, um, uh, like work culture 
Yeah. And a lot right. of the, the problem with that was because their executives were all guys and, and I think it like, it trickles down, like it even trickles down into their community that mm. it's like all about this, like bro culture. Yes. Um, yeah. so, like riot ever since they started like um, League of Legends, it was always like that. It was always about the bros and it, and it even weird. Like this is kind of just like my own observation, but it's even like, we made like cosplayers into like cheerleaders almost yes you know? mm. and like that's how right at, at least that's how i've seen like the evolution of riot goes it was just like mm-hmm. oh all the guys play the game and then the girls they play the game but mostly they cosplay and, mm-hmm. and then that's what they promoted um yeah. so i think and that's that, why yeah go ahead sorry i sorry to cut you off oh no no you're fine i was just gonna say so i think like another great thing would be to have uh you know more women trying to work in in gaming in, in the gaming industry because apparently only 24 mm-hmm. percent of the of people working in, in the games industry are women. Although I get it because it's really hard. <laughs> it's like a really tough job. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't think it has to do with being a tough job. I think it has to do with the people that are hiring for those jobs, giving right. women a chance. Like, yeah. you know, from my personal experience, um, you know, I've been in the industry for like almost 10 years. Yeah, 10 years now. And mm-hmm. um when I first started off, like, you know, all the companies I, I just, all the companies I worked for have been great and very um, supportive in the development of my career. Mm-hmm. However, I did see like when I would go to events, I'd be one of the two girls there at the event. Um, yeah. I'd see there all the developers or not all the developers, but like some of their team behind some of these big titles, mostly men, their spokes people are actually spokesmen, mostly spokesmen. Um, mm-hmm. The people talking about the games um, have to be represented to the gamers. So it's not just, you know, typecasting women in gaming to play the host or, you know, like like myself, I'm a, a typecast now, but also to produce content behind the scenes. Right. Um, if we're talking mm-hmm. about games media, which, you know, I'm happy to say I also do. I'm able to break away from just the stereotype of being a um, someone in front of the camera they have to be at those jobs that um make those decisions like you mentioned the heads of these companies and those players like that's something with competitive gaming which has always been i don't know why it's such a big issue with Mm -hmm. having women on some of these teams or having a women's league i don't understand like i really don't understand so when i look to women like um Stephanie Harvey, uh, I just like, I, you know, you have to just have admiration um, or even, you know, Kettlecore, like these um, players in terms of how competitive gaming can look in the future. I just have the utmost respect because it's hard to break into those roles when right. there's no path paid for you. And I think that's what people have to understand. It's not saying we're not just saying just hire women. We're, yeah. we're not saying that. We're just saying the path is not paved there for women to get into these spaces. Yes. Yeah. So we need to focus mm-hmm. on helping women get into these spaces right now yeah. till mm-hmm. it's normalized. 100%. Yes, exactly. Like, um, I, I agree with you. And I, I think, like, especially when it comes to, like, esports, I think orgs need to just, like, I mean, they're starting to do it now. But they need to just, like, bite the bullet and be a little bit more diverse with the people that they hire. Yes. And I mean, they're, they're not like, I think we talked about this a little bit at some point, but yeah, they're, they're doing it now, but it's still, um, we still have a, like a really long way to go. Yeah. Well, like, I um, agree. FaZe did that with FaZe Ewok, right? Um, she, yeah. she was hired as the first female for FaZe. Um, like Which females, <laughs> yeah. Females for orgs do not have to be just their streamers, their content creators. Um, mm-hmm. We see that so many times with orgs just hire females to their teams to either model their clothes and stream content. And they've these women have shown so many times based on their content that they're capable of much more um, mm-hmm. than that. So it's it's putting that responsibility on them in order to, again, make those waves for women in gaming. Yeah, definitely. And, so, I, and I think from a content creator level, like looking at the community and, and, mm-hmm. and speaking on what we were talking about earlier, uh, like we, we need to call people out, you know, like mm-hmm. the, you, the, your, your community is only as good as it's bad apples. And if you weed out those bad apples or if you call people out when they're being stupid, like you'll get rid of them or you potentially will start allowing people to understand that they need mm-hmm. to change. You know, mm-hmm. there have been instances in my chat uh, very recently even 
where people talk about something that is is it's very insensitive uh it, but not not to like get too much into it but in specific there was one talk uh, in my chat recently about the birds of prey movie and how they casted um a person of color as black canary yes, and they were I like oh why did thing. they do that why did they not cast a white girl and i'm like mm -hmm. where in any <laughs> comic book through the entirety of black canary's run was it important for that character to be a white person, you know? Yeah. And the actress who played the character in the movie did a great job. They she showcased did. the character's abilities. They made they did character justice, you know? And that's all that really matters at the end of the day. And and and, and the point that I'm trying to make is when you see something like that, don't just block them, don't just ignore it. Mm -hmm. Call them out. Mm -hmm. Tell yeah. them what they said is wrong, why yeah. it's wrong, you know? Mm -hmm. Help yeah. them understand that they need to change and that the world yeah. is changing, they need to change with it, you know? You Otherwise, make a really everyone's good just going to be stuck five years in the past, ten years in the past. I feel like yeah. people should be doing that. Like that's a that's great advice for people just playing like regular games. Like yeah. I know um, I was trying to learn Valorant with my girlfriend the other day, and um, we're both pretty bad at the game, right? And just having people <laughs> re like, but I feel like I, like she was getting a different response than I was just because she was a female, right? So when people are in chat are talking about like, oh gosh, like probably not going to win this one, right? I feel like. It's important that if that's something that's happening in your games, that people should just call that out sometimes too, right? Like, hey, man, yes. that's not cool, right? Like, hey, yeah. like, you shouldn't be doing that, right? So it's not even just as like a content creator, but like people, just regular people playing like video games that happen, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. just like, just speak out, man, right? Just do it. Yeah. So it's a meme. Uh, sorry. I was just going to read this. It's a meme says hiring is only part of the uh, part of it, though. Biggest problem, in my opinion, is a pay discrepancy for women in equal positions to men. Women yeah. doing the same job as a man should be paid equally. I completely agree. I, I don't even know why that's like up for debate with anybody <laughs> ever. Yeah. yeah. Well, that just shows like there's just so many barriers. You know, it's yeah. like, not the, yeah. the higher sure. education. Yeah. It's not the fight. It's not the. There's it's a, it's a tall ladder to climb. It starts at like this community level. You know, you jump up to a like a content creator, it, yes. then you get into the industry. When you even yeah. even some of you know you see some of the things going on. It's it's so disgusting. You see some of the things going on. Mm -hmm. it, like these women who fought to get into the industry to make it to be yeah. working on a game, and even then. They are mistreated, and it's like, yes, like how, how, how is this, how is this the way happening? that it is? Yeah. You know, yeah. how, how, how does this stuff not come out sooner? How do you know? And, and all the same with what I'll talk about in terms of creators, like content creators calling out their community. If you're in a work environment and you're seeing, even if it's somebody who you're friends with, mm -hmm. somebody that you know, and they're doing something inappropriate or they're acting inappropriately, don't just sit down and shut up about it. Yeah, like say something. Say something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stand up for somebody, you know, mm -hmm. like and I, and make I your think voice be heard. That goes to even just playing online on servers. Like I would, I've never, yeah, I'm trying to think. Nope. I've never heard anyone in a lobby waiting for my mm. match to start speak out against someone that's talking crap about me right. being a woman. Mm -hmm. yep. Right. Like just that support to know you are not alone. Um, it it, it, sh it should pave the way. I shouldn't have to feel numb to hearing that crap over and over yeah. again. Yeah, I shouldn't yeah. have to be like, yeah, that's what happens when I play COD. I have to, you know, with modern warfare, it's gotten better, um, but I still get it. But the fact that it doesn't phase me is troubling. Yeah. I why mean, Why doesn't it phase? It shouldn't not phase sure. me. Right? For you sure. know what I mean? Um, yeah. Alex, I'm kind of curious with this article. Uh, I know we have to go in a quick minute, but was as a woman looking at this article, was there anything of these facts that really surprised you um, that you were completely unaware of? Um, I wouldn't say it's surprising, uh, just because like, I, I, I think I, can, I get it. Like, I mean, I've been living in it. Um, I think more of like the concept of the article is about the fact that game the games industry is growing so rapidly especially right now especially with influencer culture that that's why this conversation like needs to be made constantly now like more than ever because we actually do have a lot of power not even just as content creators but as people who play video games because it's so interactive and it's growing so quickly that um the games industry has more potential to influence people than like traditional media like movies and shows mm -hmm. um, because, yeah, like you said, like you are in a lobby with people. You're literally interacting with people and you're talking with people. Um, and it's it's this whole immersive experience that that you are experiencing like in real time. So we yeah. actually have mm -hmm. more opportunities 
to sway people, you know, one way or the other. Um, I was actually going to say how, like, one of my friends was telling me a story about how he actually made a sexist comment and he didn't realize he did. And one of his friends told him, like, well, that was really sexist. And then ever since then, that's when he realized, like, oh. I oh, yeah, have, don't say that. Yeah, I do have, like, a... Sometimes sex- your brain just goes on, like, an autopilot mode, right? Yes. And, like, Plus, you need to be told from somebody, like, hey, this is wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, we know these these terms um, that people use to describe women or other people of race are out there in these communities. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. if you're if some players are used to saying these terms amongst their bros, they may not realize how offensive it could be to yeah. a woman or what that means to yeah. them. So, I think it is important. You don't have to go into an or argument. It's just about saying, "Hey, man, that was kind of weird," mm-hmm. right? Like, so yeah. they know. Uh, you know, like that's kind of offensive to some people. You don't right. have to preach to them, but mm-hmm. you just got to call it out because like in, you know, Alex, like you were saying, they just may not be aware um, mm-hmm. about what they're saying. Yeah. Um, just really quick, I want to mention what Sprack said in chat and he goes, if people speak out about it, they're called simps these days. <laughs> Oh I have a whole issue yeah. with that term. Uh, yeah, I did. I did want to mention somebody in chat as well. This is somebody who comes from from my channel. Uh, Luna mentions while well, people have different different opinions, I don't think they need to be called out, especially on moral disagreements. You don't have to start a fight by calling them out. You want peace. You have to act peaceful. Just talk a peaceful debate on morals and agree to disagree. I think that you shouldn't just try and approach something peacefully when somebody wants to stand idly by in in the current world or during current situations for instance the, in, in specific the thing that that i was talking about the example that i was talking about i'm not going to like peacefully tell somebody like you know oh uh no i think it's okay that they didn't cast a white woman it's like sorry but to me that just feels like this weird almost borderline racism if your initial reaction in seeing a person of yeah. color playing a character that's traditionally white in comics is well, why is it a person of color? Mm-hmm. You know, that's like that if to me feels org- like it's something. Argument, yeah, it's the yeah. color. It's like that has nothing to do with the character. Right? Yeah, it's like like okay, if your complaint is, well, why doesn't she use her powers enough in the movie? Like, okay, we can have a debate about that. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. if your if your argument is about the race of the actress playing this character when that has nothing to do with the character, I'm gonna call you out on it. Like, I'm sorry, I'm just mm-hmm. gonna call you out on it. Well, I'm not I'm not striving for peace on that. I, you know. Yeah, I I get I understand what you're saying 100%. Um I do understand though. Like you know how sometimes you're like, "Man, I wish Thanos looked more like the comic book." Or I wish like um you know, in this case, if they said, "Oh, I wish Black Canary or Black Widow, right? Like looked more like the comic in comic book in terms of suit." That okay, sure. Um yeah. but it's a movie, right? Like I would be open to a discussion if they're like, "Okay, well, I wish Black Canary looked like the comic books this you know? yeah right mm-hmm. and then if they're not like the comic books in what are the birds of prey for this uh example then i would be open to a discussion be like hey like you know every movie has different representations of how they see these characters so like you know and then if the person persists and says well she's black you know why is she black then that's a race thing you know like it's like then you're being you're being a little racist. <laughs> you're you're trying to pedal like tiptoe around the fact that you don't want to say the fact that you know it's because she's black. Exactly. But th- and that's the, the whole- funniest argument is when people and and rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman, amazing actor. Oh God, but like yeah. the argument that everyone always brings up is, oh, so you would be okay if Black Panther was a white guy? It's like, no, you dummy, because that's essential to the character in the comic books. You, exactly. you stupid idiot. Like, Plus, Black how Panther. Is that even an argument? Actually- Black Panther was created for black representation. It has yeah. a whole nother <laughs> right, yeah. Like, the race of the character, right? If the race of the character um or c- game uh your protagonist is tied deeply to the story, mm-hmm. that's something or stands was created the history of that character is mm-hmm. deep rooted in race. Yeah. That's when you may not want to touch it. Okay? Like you get what I'm saying like that you might be racist. Yes, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Um but yes, I I can't anymore with people being like this. I understand what Luna's this. trying to say. Yeah. I, I get it. Yeah. Luna's trying to say like this this to, to strive for peace is of course that's the yes. dream. You want right? to be respectful. 
when you're right. approaching people, be the better person sometimes, but it is hard oh, to be <laughs> hard to be like that, especially if you feel personally attacked. So I think it's on yeah. both ends, right? If someone's coming at you with like, hey, you know, like I, I'm really excited for Birds of Prey, but the kind of issue I had is the fact that she's black um, may open to a discussion. Mm-hmm. Because of uh, because she's you know that's not her comic book character and all the representations we saw her might open up to a discussion if you're coming into it and be like why is she black <laughs> I'm not watching this movie yeah you approached it very aggressively you're probably oh, you're getting aggression gonna, back you're probably <laughs> get aggression back and I think that's that's kind of how it goes um, yeah and but I know yeah. it divulges a little bit to like the main yes. topic at hand but um but I guess just the the overarching point is. Uh, like we got some work to do. Yes. Definitely. And it's a lot of work, but yeah. if, but. you know, if we all do our part, I, I really do believe that it'll, it'll, it's going to be better and it'll just help the gaming industry boom because mm. when yes. more f- people feel included in the industry, we're going to see more money go into it and mm-hmm. just better games overall. Yeah. I, I'll say one last thing. I think that is really important for everyone is like to watch your language of your thinking. Like if you are going to see, uh, if you're thinking about anyone, like any woman in media and you're first like, like, like what you said with uh, people write more about the negatives mm-hmm. than the positives, then mm-hmm. just think more about like, all right, try to forget about the negative headlines and just think about, well, this girl did really well in her role. Like, or like, you know, like you were saying with Black Canary, like I, I didn't see the movie, but like, instead of it being about, well, why is she not the the way she is in the comic book? Maybe think of it more like, well, she killed the role though, you know? Yeah. So just yeah. like, think of your, she did. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. The, the, Watch yeah. the movie. She did a great well, job. Think of your language when you're approaching things. And if your first thing is negative, then just try your best to like, be more aware of that negativity and mm-hmm. try to look for more of the positives. And it's the same thing with um, streamers. A, lo- a lot of uh, people tend to gravitate towards these like negative streamers that make quote negative images for women. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. why don't we just, why do we care about them? Why don't we just care about the people who make a positive image? Yeah. yeah. Especially that's, if you're that's like, why oh, this anyway, you know? Yeah. That's why I speak from like a, a content creator level is because there are, there are a lot of content creators. There are content creators that have just essentially dedicated their career to right. making people like, you know, like Brie Larson, Brie Larson, like they, they've dedicated their career to making her life miserable, you know? Right. And, and it's important, I think, as content creators like ourselves to then take somebody who may be coming from their community into ours and tell them either A, you're not welcome here, or B, hey, this is not how normal people should act, you know? Yeah. Like it's, it's like, it, it's up to, like, I feel like there's a level of responsibility. I don't think like it should fall directly on just our shoulders but there is a level of responsibility on looking at the way communities are currently being built on youtube and the way that like negativity is just running supreme whether it's youtube or twitch and trying to take those people that may go to other communities and tell them hey that's not cool yeah you know yeah and communities drive the growth of their communities as well so i think it's the responsibility of everyone to kind of put Funny where their mouth is. Um, yes. Put their viewership where their their uh, mouth is as well. If you believe mm-hmm. in these causes and you're watching content creator that obviously does not mm-hmm. um, and makes that very apparent in their content, um, then you know maybe consider not watching that person. Mm-hmm. But uh, wow, what a way to end! That was a deep conversation, guys. It's always nice when I, sure. we get to connect on like our moral levels. I love it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was great that was good no it was, it's an important conversation to have i'm glad that we brought the topic i'm glad that alex brought the topic uh, yes. today because because like i said we we got some work to do yeah talking about we it should do. be the new norm right so yeah exactly oh my gosh okay well that is it for today um doses yes very deep it was a very <laughs> deep conversation no. and i'm glad that we maybe maybe sparked some discussion um amongst chat as well which was nice to see yeah. um just people talking about it uh but uh that is it for us today i want to know paul what article are you working on that we should check out this week there's uh, okay it's a rune it's a rune he's about he's about to geek out he's about to geek out look at that. <laughs> so 
um there's this leona deck that's oh. going on right now <laughs> and people don't know about it yet but there's like some cards in that package that work perfectly with lux that i think only a few people in the community have been talking about so i'm working on an article talking about how it can be the next like top tier thing that people aren't trying out yet so if runeterra interests you and you want to check out some of the hot takes i'm uh, writing about be sure to check out the articles on squad all right yeah squadstate.com i definitely have to do that um i don't know my game my right game now. She's my game glitch so i'm trying to <laughs> I, the mobile to the mobile's a little out. glitchy do you have an iphone oh no you didn't tell me no i have a pixel you didn't tell me it was glitchy before i downloaded it the, oh, that's no, no, something I, that you oh, a disclaimer no. a disclaimer there this is good <laughs> i don't lost her you reeled her in oh, on being go. a fan I and had five seconds to make an impression on her and i ruined it oh no Oh, Paul, I'm oh, going to have man. to at you on Twitter and get angry. Where can uh, everyone no. find you personally? Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter at BrotherCCG, or you can find me on YouTube at BrotherCCG on Return oh. Content. Yeah. All right, sweet. Uh, Caboose, there, there's, you know, like you mentioned, Avengers game is coming out this week. So yeah. can we expect lots of content from you? You can expect some content today from me. Uh, if, you, if you were to subscribe to the YouTubes, youtube.com forward slash Caboose. You might see some Avengers stuff up there. Uh, I'm also going to be streaming it. Of course, there's so much stuff to do this week. It's going to be crazy. Twitch.tv slash Caboose. I'll probably be playing with you, Camille, I imagine. Yes, yes. You're going to be getting it this week. So that'll be a lot of fun doing some squad streaming with you there. Uh, and then you can check me out Twitter and Instagram at Caboose EK. Mm -hmm. hey, sweet, Alex. Now, I know that you're going to be streaming with us uh, here at Squad um, on the weekend. But how about throughout the week? I know you got your move going on. I finally finished my move. So... Now it's like I'm I'm focused on Grind City. <laughs> um, okay. Nice. Okay, nice. Somewhat ambitious, just because we were just talking about women in games and representation. Is like I I do want to be one of those people that like pushes forward for representation. So what I'm working on is like hard grinding League of Legends and trying to get up in the like upper echelon echelon of players, and you know just try to really kill it and just prove that there's there's literally no difference. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Twitch.tv slash radpuppy. My socials are at Phil's Radband across everything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right, sweet. I'm going to uh, work on getting into this first battle here. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. It's, it's going to go. You got to turn dancing. on your sound, though. You got to turn on your sound. Part of, part of the enjoyment of those challenges is listening to the, the banter between the characters. Oh, okay. Nice yeah. tip. So I'll have Great to take this yeah, one yeah. off. Um, but mm. if you guys want to find me and my struggles, because I'll probably be <laughs> tweeting about them, at This Is Camco <laughs> on Twitter, Instagram. I also got my YouTubes. I started doing YouTube videos as well there. Uh, this is Camco everywhere. That's me. Um, but I will be back tomorrow as well, streaming right here on Squad. Um, I think I'm going to do... Um, I don't know when I'm going to stream. But I, I don't know. We'll, we'll just... We'll, one I'll game. figure it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. that one game. Give me some ideas, chat. What I should stream, Fall just at me. With us. Um, Fall Guys, we could do Fall Guys together, um, maybe mm -hmm. this week. But that'll be Tuesday, Wednesday from 12 to 4. I'll be streaming. Brody will be here streaming Thursday, Friday. Then we got Alex streaming on the weekend from 2 to 6 on Saturday and Sunday. She's going to be grinding that league really hard. Make top spot. Mm -hmm. I believe yeah. you, Alex. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But until then, be sure to check out Squad again at squadstate.com uh, or on Squad Socials at Squad State on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been a little bit of a long one, but we really appreciate uh, you guys hearing the really great conversations I think we've been having. Uh, yeah. We will see you mm -hmm. next week, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace out, everyone. Bye. Peace. Go, 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 go.